hey guys, this video is going to be a book review of The Holder's Dominion by Janice Davis. I read this book on the Kindle app on my phone, mainly, so I don't actually have a physical copy to show you. The Holder's Dominion follows Kaylee Ames, a young woman in her second year at university. For the past two years of Kaylee's life, her family has really been ripped apart by the death of her father. Her mother has gone into deep denial. Her brother has taken to running away every now and again, and she herself ended up going to university very far away. And then one day, while doing her grocery shopping, she runs into an old friend from middle school named Elliot. And through Elliot is introduced to the world of an MMORPG called Edenair. Elliot is part of a guild called Sarkmar, which is the highest tier, most successful guild in the game. Everyone wants to be a part of Sarkmar. It's the big one. At least part of this is because their leader, called The Holder, is really, really mysterious and a highly controversial figure who is basically on the run, both in-game and in real life, from the game's developers. However, The Holder also makes all members of Sarkmar do Morphous missions, where they face their fears in real life. However, the Morphouses seem really quite cruel and horrible, such as making someone with really quite severe claustrophobia get tied up tight in a confined space for a, a certain amount of time. It's... it's really quite worrying. Kaylee feels that she can't just stand by while the Morphous missions are going on, so she joins Edenair, she joins Sarkmar with the goal of taking down the Holder from within his own guild, all the while dealing with her own familial issues. I quite enjoyed this book, it was fairly entertaining, the characters were quite interesting, and the plot and setting were as well, mostly. One thing I really quite liked about it was that the book states quite clearly the great advantage of MMOs, that they create communities, foster friendships, and train teamwork in a way that society doesn't really value as much in the same way. In fact, it explicitly states this, as Kaylee actually finds this aspect of the MMOs really quite strange, but enjoyable. I also liked that there was very little conflict between Kaylee's offline and online lives, as there was a lot of potential to have that happen. None of Kaylee's friends actually scorned her for taking up playing Edenair, and in fact some of them encouraged it. On the other hand, I did feel that the two plotlines of Kaylee's familial stuff and the Edenair stuff should have been connected but for some reason wasn't. It felt like it felt like it was meant to be connected. My major grouch with this book was that the MMO interface seemed really quite unrealistic and a bit weird. Now I have heard that this could mean that the book is actually set in the near future, but I still feel that that's a bit awkward and doesn't quite fit in as being realistic. I mean they make really complicated hand gestures in the book, like how, how are you really meant to do that without some sort of thing like the, the haptic gloves in Ready Player One? I get it's probably for the ease of storytelling, but it just felt a bit clunky and took me out of the book to make me wonder how the heck this could actually work. Another thing that bothered me about the book was that Kaylee was the only woman in Sarkmar full stop. No other women were good enough, apparently. Of course, the sexism that at least some of the members of Sarkmar displayed could be a bit more of a realistic reason for why women were put off trying to play and apply. Well, that and the ridiculous morphoses that play on all your fears and insecurities that I'd imagine a lot of women would be pretty sensible in staying away from. But still, this aspect of the book was kind of sexist and kind of worried me quite a bit. I did enjoy this book despite my criticisms of it and I'm quite looking forward to the eventual sequel, because you know it's coming. There is easily one coming with that ending. Come on! Tell me what you thought of this book in the comments below. Did you like it? Did the interface stuff make more sense to you? I would like to know, so tell me in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you remember to like and share it and subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbnails above to see other videos by me, including the video where I made Apple and Sultana muffins, and my review of All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. Bye!